four priests have been removed after admitting they molested an altar boy. It's like all four of them got this one altar boy. Oh, man. no kidding. Yeah. Four priests teamed up on one altar boy? Well, you know, it, it seems that this was the boy. You Ralph's know, even, you know, if you were the priest at this parish, you got this boy. <laughs> Is Ralph still here? He's got an altar boy story. No, he really? Laughed. Yeah. But I can tell you, I mean, he told it to me pretty good. Well, we'll wait till he comes in. It'll be funny yeah, to hear him tell it. Yeah, maybe he'll hear us and call us on the phone or something. Imagine you, like, you, you, usually the altar boy is some, you know, some kid whose father maybe isn't even in the house anymore, and the mother uh, maybe wants to send the kid to church. And he wants to send him to church so he'll be a, a, around a good influence. Yeah, he wants to be around role models, and, you know, hey, who better than priests? Needs a father figure. Needs a father figure. And, you, I and meanwhile, 90% of the priests are gay, so you well, give them a know, gay role model. a good percentage. All right, 98. I'm sorry. It's a little low. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> these are guys who grew up in really Catholic backgrounds who basically say, oh, my God, I'm attracted to men. I'm attracted to men. What am I going to do? And they become priests. Yeah. And they think that, well, now they'll take a vow of celibacy. They'll and pray on their knees and God will take it away. Yeah. That awful thing they want to do. You know. Begging altar boys to pick up the crucifix. Oh. <laughs> well, just listen to this story. How old is the kid? Well, he's an older guy now because this happened Super. back in the 70s. But uh, this cardinal down in Washington, James Cardinal Hickey, I love those cards. Hickey. <laughs> tie, tie, tie. Oh, bony fingers. Oh, oh come to Papa. <laughs> hey. Hey. He's a, this is the first time he's ever had to dismiss so many priests at once. Hmm. For the same thing. <laughs> Churchgoers in five parishes where the four had served learned the news at Mass on Sunday when the priest read a letter from Cardinal Hickey, according to the Washington Post. One of the four also admitted to abusing a second youth from 1988 until two years ago. <laughs> wow. Monsignor William Laurie was the first one to learn about the problem. What had happened was the young man who was the victim of all of this, started to have some marital problems. And he went into counseling. And that's when he decided to call Monsignor Laurie and talk to him about what happened to him. Monsignor Laurie? Yeah. So the Monsignor called the four priests in and said, hey, there's a dude out there who says you all did him. Mm. And they all admitted it. Oh, really? Right yeah. off the bat, huh? Yeah, they all cracked. <laughs> Haven't they learned from O.J.? Deny, deny, deny. I mean, everyone knows O.J. committed murder. He just sits there like, hey, what are you guys talking about? This is crazy. The former altar boy, now a 34-year-old professional living in the Baltimore area, requested anonymity. He said he was no kidding. 11 or 12 when Father Schaefer, then pastor at St. Matthias Roman Catholic Church in uh, Lansing, Maryland, gave him a job after school oh, answering piece, telephones yeah. in the rectory. The man said Father Schaefer would take him to his bedroom in the rectory or to a classroom in the parish school where they would engage in sex. <laughs> in 1974, <laughs> Father Schaefer was transferred to another parish and replaced by Father Smith, who also abused the boy. Do you think they, like, had a conversation and said, hey, listen, if yeah, you want to get some good action? Have him. Right. I love that word rectory, too. It's so close to rectum. Yes. So Father Smith also abused the boy until he was 17. <laughs> While Father Smith was the pastor... <laughs> and the former altar boy uh, was still around, uh, he would give him off to another visiting priest when he would come in. Wow. And to Father Pritchard, who was an associate pastor at the church. So he just sort of spread him around, good old Father. Uh, <laughs> uh, what was it? Father Smith would like to share. It's like one big hag club. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. And what's with this kid? I mean, he seems kind of into it. Well, he said that it was very confusing for him because part of it doesn't feel bad. Right. <laughs> but then you realize in the back of your head that there's something going wrong here, so you sort of dissociate. So he was just sort of like laying there and taking it. Right. Like Tex Antoine says. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if he's like gay or straight today. He was married to a woman, so he obviously had a heterosexual relationship that wasn't working out too well for him. What is it? When he wound up in therapy. Ralph's on the phone, and by the way, Ralph was an altar boy. That's where his incident took place. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I didn't know this about Ralph. <laughs> Ralph, don't say where you were an altar boy, but go ahead. What no, is your... no, no, I wasn't an altar boy. Gary got that right. Oh, okay. Gorilla was an altar boy. He's got his own story. Yeah, well, what's, what's your story? But I, uh, it was at, I went to Catholic school. Anyway, this priest was uh, 
there was a it was some kind of fishing trip or something. We were going to go fishing. Yeah, and Ralph was one of those kids whose dad kind of split early on. Right, yeah. right. So that, so I guess he was trying to give me a father image or something. Who was it, your mom trying to get your father image? I, I, I get, you know, it was... A, why, don't she, why don't she show you pictures of Hitler better? You, you know, it was even scarier. It was a priest who did counseling. Yeah, all right. You know, guidance counselor kind of thing. <laughs> anyway, so... Um, so my mom drops me off the night before. No wonder, no wonder the Catholic Church is so against gay people. Yeah, because they've got them all inside. Yeah, they got them inside and they're molesting everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you want to call them no wonder they have yeah. a bad opinion. Yeah, of course we don't like gays. Look what they do to kids. We make them priests and they molest everyone. <laughs> yeah. How can we condone yeah. this behavior? It'd be a lot easier. Yeah, so you go on a camping trip. So, so we're supposed to be fishing, me and one other guy and this uh, priest. How old were you? I was like in nineteen. <laughs> <laughs> Happened last week. I was I was like in sixth or seventh grade, however old you are then. Twelve, eleven, somewhere yeah. in there. Way too old. Perfect. <laughs> oh, Ralphie. Oh, no. <laughs> fishing, Ralphie. What's that strange berry on your face, young man? <laughs> All right, so I go. I, my mom drops me off the night before. You know, we're going to sleep over, get an early start. So um, within within like 15 minutes of being there, this, I, I sit down in his in his office with this this other guy's in there, and they're looking at magazines. And he goes, "Here, take a look at these." And he opens up a drawer, and he's got a drawer full of like Penthouse Hustler. I mean, you name the, it. The priest. And, th th and there were like hardcore ones in there too. Yeah, the priest. Oh, Good place man. to see your first porno. And then and then he starts taking out devices, like. Like vibrate things with like batteries and wires. I had no idea what the stuff was. No wonder you're a homo. Oh my wow. goodness! Now we understand. <laughs> All right, hey everyone, apologize. <laughs> yeah, hey, you never told me this before. Yeah, you were turned well, out it, by a priest. It never came up before. So you mean all of a sudden the guy whips out a bunch of dildos and stuff? <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I imagine that's what... They were like hand massages or something. I mean, I didn't get into it with them, so... Yeah. Well, what did you do? Sit and watch? Well, no, no, you What's just... the hand massager for? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he brings out all the hand massagers and junk, yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, I just really started getting uncomfortable. I mean, I, I you know, all the stuff was being thrust at me, and I wasn't even, like, I wasn't even into that kind of stuff at that age, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, nobody knows what that is. Yeah, I didn't know what was going on. So then, um, so then some, I don't know what went on in between, but then it comes time to go to bed. <laughs> and I go, I go to his bedroom. He's got this bed that's like something out of a movie. It takes up the whole entire room. It's this big, huge four-post bed. And so he says, well, he said, you can either sleep in the bed with me and this other guy. There's plenty of room. Come on in. <laughs> <laughs> Or you could sleep on the floor. And I was like, well, you know, I think I'll take the floor. Because I really, you know, I was getting a vibe at that point. So I mean, the other guy obviously had been there before. Well, the other guy was in for a party. Yeah. 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 See, were they making a lot of noise in the bed and everything? Yeah. See, that's what it was like. All right, so I go to sleep on the floor, and I'm like, this bed is like way up high. I couldn't even see what was going on. I'm on the other side of the room. And, you know, within like 15 minutes of going to, trying to go to sleep or something, I start hearing... Uh. Oh. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, yeah. 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 At the bed, you weaken like... Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Jesus. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was praying. <laughs> hey, Jackie Puppet's really sad for you. He wants to apologize. He wants... He wants to... Uh, he wants to say something to you, Ralph. Okay. I'm sorry, faggot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You didn't know that you were a big, with a big silly man wearing purple satin? That something would go wrong? <laughs> anyway, thank you, Ralph. So what happened? When you, like nothing? Did the kid ever say anything to you? Like something no, wrong? No, you know, it was, it was so uncomfortable that I just ignored all references to it, and I never did anything How like that. How does this priest know to pick Ralph and not some blabbermouth? Because Ralph sends off vibes. I see. <laughs> His gaydar went off. He's gay, <laughs> gay vibes. <laughs> At what point oh did my. your tooth start rotting in the front? <laughs> That's what happened to my tooth, man. All right, thanks, man. Oh, all right, all right. Wow. That's pretty cool. Ralph dealing with his own pain. More to that <laughs> There's a lot more to that story. Yeah, because there's a portion there where he says, I don't remember what happened. Yeah, I blanked out. Yeah, it was this big four I think maybe. bed. Yeah, and I ended up One, on the floor. Two, three, four. 
I just, I just tried I know to go... he started taking out devices, and I don't remember what happened next. Yeah, that doesn't sound right. I mean, the priest takes out devices, and you're looking at magazines. Like, what happens next? Wait a second. Maybe it was me in the bed. <laughs> and then he says, and then it was time to go to bed, and I don't know what happened between the devices coming out of the drawer yeah. and going to bed. Yeah, how does, like, how does the priest whip out the devices, and then, like, suddenly they're not there anymore? <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like to fill in those holes tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> when we yeah. have him here, and he can't get away. I don't know. The only thing I can remember is the priest took out some magazines, the cutler and stuff, and then he took out some massage massage oils and vibrators, <laughs> and then uh, then we oh, then everyone had to get to bed. He, he says I don't know instant. what happened after that, yeah. but then it was time to go to bed. Yeah, and uh, I don't know. It's like it's like Nixon's missing eighteen yeah. minutes. You know? Yeah. What happened in uh, that uh, phase of time? Nothing really happened. <laughs> Conked me over the head with a chalice. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is, when I woke up, I was full. <laughs> and just ask yourself a question: If a priest, if you were sitting there, right? You're supposed to be going on a fishing trip? Yeah. <laughs> and a priest starts doing this stuff? Yeah. What would you do? I get the hell out of the room. <laughs> be enough fishing for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't understand, Ralph. I mean, unless you want to take this up tomorrow, what the hell happened? I mean, all of a sudden, the guy, the priest is Maybe showing... you take it up tomorrow. Yeah, he's showing you... Yeah, give you some time to think of an alibi. <laughs> I don't understand. Like, he, he took out vibrators and everything, and then, like, what happens? All of a sudden, you're getting ready for bed? I, I don't know. Maybe we had something to eat. I, I mean, I... How could you forget? Did he watch you get naked? It was traumatic, Robin. You know how, like, Oprah tries to forget what happened with her family? Man, you want to go to a hypnotist and, and sort of, like, open I that up. Open that up. Uh, you, could have a, you could have a good lawsuit against this guy. <laughs> yeah. oh my. I have a question, too. The next day when you guys went fishing, did you go like off a dock with a lot of people or was it like a private sort of area? camping trip? We, we drove down to like a friend of his and we went like went out uh -oh. on a boat. So did the homo activity... Like double, double date. Dating. Double date. <laughs> the homo activity stopped the next day? Like with all this weird stuff going on the next day it just stopped? Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, because it was at night time. Oh. And I bailed out of there as soon as we got home. Yeah, sure you did. <laughs> yeah, dude, I, this story's got a lot of holes to be punched into it. And why? You didn't even tell your mother? No, how could I tell my mother? Oh. Very easily. Like, mom, the priest uh, showed me some porno and vibrators. Yeah, I mean, what am I gonna so say? what happened? Did your mom send you off on more trips with the guy? My and stuff? mom had her own problems at the time. No, I just, I just, you know, I just like, next, you know, I just kind of like said, no, I don't want to go, or something came up. I just wasn't into it. Hmm. Did I, I, did, I didn't cat? make myself available. And a gorilla even said... What happened when you undressed for the night? I mean, was he there with you? <laughs> well, he helped me undress. Oh! <laughs> no, no, nothing happened. Mm, come here, no. Petey. I modeled for him. Like Howard Gorilla? Yeah, we, we just, like, took our panties yeah. and all that. You were the chosen one, Ralph. <laughs> Thank you, Father, for I've seen... You put me up on a giant cross naked. So you still know the other guy? Um, no, I mean, I don't know what happened to You him. ought to get in touch with him. Suicide. I could give him his name. <laughs> no, don't give me his name. <laughs> like, Gorilla was even saying, like, why would the priest even give Ralph the option of sleeping on the bed if it's this huge bed? Yeah. Why would he say, okay, this is where you, you and I and Joe will sleep in the no, bed? No, I'm going to sleep on the floor. It was either that or wear the leather mask. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have to keep this red ball in my mouth all night? And you kept your mouth shut while all this moaning and groaning is going <laughs> Wait, on? Sorry, all right, Robin, Robin, listen to me. This is going on. This is going on in a big... I'm not interested. Ah! Why would the priest let him sleep on the floor? Right. He's supposed to be oh, scared. Wouldn't you be scared to death of exposure if the other kid wouldn't go along? He was in there. There's a lot of... He was in that bed. <laughs> there just there. seems to me to be a problem. Could be. They were fighting for who was there. boy. Here's a bread on a pre sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's take a break. Hey, Ralph claims he wasn't in the bed. <laughs> we believe him. All right. We're uh, going to take a break, and we'll be back right after these words. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Tom Chiasano, our general manager, Mr. Italian Catholic, is out there uh, bragging in the halls how for 14 years he's never been molested by one priest. Did you hear that whole rap going on out no, there? No, I oh, didn't yeah. hear that. Oh, yeah. You should have been out there for the Tom show. <laughs> you know, Tom walks around and he's reacts to things. He's taking up for all priests. Yeah. Now. Therefore, I guess everybody's lying. <laughs> well, maybe you're not the turn on you think you are. Yeah. <laughs> maybe that ass is getting a little too broad and wide. <laughs> Can you believe this guy's out there doing a whole lecture? I, he's bragging. I was never molested or approached. Like he had a choice. Yeah. So, look at the big smile. So proud of himself. No, 14 no, years of no, Catholic I'm education. Not, I'm not, no, I'm not being proud. And I know, it's, but it's, 
Actually, I hear you running through the halls like a I maniac. Running through the halls. People say they can't get away from you. You know, he hears a topic that he taps into. Right. Yeah. Forget about it. It's not true. He's running around with a it's sign. I have information. Yeah. <laughs> please talk. To, please interview me no, about my not, Catholic I'll education. Leave. I'll leave. All right. Fine. Thank okay. you. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Tom. Very good. I don't know the way he walks. Funny. I think he was molested. <laughs> he's still being molested. Looks like he's got a backside full of jelly. <laughs> Oh. He's being molested oh. even as we speak. It looks like... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is like a carrion back there. Oh, I knew something was coming. All right, I'm just oh, kidding. You look great. You, you look great. Too many pounds. That's all. I'm uh, right. no, you look good. You look good. You look. Believe me, I should look so good at your age. All right, very good. Got a freeze on his back. Yeah. <laughs> what are the knee pads for?